the battle has been won. Then it is lucky I chose the right side, is it not? And if the Red Rose had triumphed, Sir Daniel? Then I should have chosen again. Boots. Send Sykes in his way.
Richard, when I made you my ward and squire, what did I say you would be when you could beat Scar like that? A man. A man. <laughs> well, you are a man, but not just because of that. It is past midnight, and this day marks your 21st birthday, the day you inherit my late brother's title. Lands and wealth. It's worth you. The House of York, forever. This I swear. To Sir Richard, a few minutes ago a boy, and now man. To Sir Richard! <laughs> The love lost between those two wouldn't fill a thimble? Hey, Sir Daniel? Yes, a happy, perhaps useful circumstance. Useful? To whom? To me, Oates. To me. By justice sped, the first strikes home. One black heart is dead. of us, I fancy. For each? Each of us? Come, Oates, you're not usually as dense. Whose arms bear a quiver of black arrows? Who testified against him for treason? Up we yard, Sykes, you and me. But that was years ago. Revenge has a long memory, does it not? Where is Up Out we on Beacon Hill, commandeering cattle. Has he men at arms with him? 
Appleyard doesn't need men. His size and his crossbow are enough. Yes, of course. Sir Daniel, let me take some men and hunt down this madman. No, Richard. Appleyard is in the Beacon Hill area. I want you to ride to him, tell him to find this man who shoots black arrows and take him alive. Or dead. Can I go with him? No, Richard. I would be betraying your trust in me if I endangered your life. Besides, Appleyard will need no help. As you wish. Then ride. Oates, tell Scar to fetch Lady Joanna from the convent. Lady Joanna? Of course. I want her here where she cannot be reached. A wise precaution, Sir Daniel. He has plans. I have plans. We'll see who's our best. Yardsley! Take six of your herd to the castle. Six? My master has an unexpected guest. The Earl of Warwick, no less. Your meat must fill his belly. That's too many. They'll feast and we'll starve. Have the cattle at the castle by Thursday. Remember, by next Thursday, or the next one of these is for, uh, for her. find him. Sykes was collecting rents. I am collecting cattle. I think he will find me. And I am very good with this. Ride to Sir Daniel. Tell him that the man known as the Black Arrow is as good as dead. said he would find me.
you fought with spirit, Nat. But remember, properly used, the staff is mightier than the sword, huh? <laughs> if you cease to serve Sir Daniel, you might live to reach manhood. Take that to your master. Tell him I wish him many sleepless nights. What's your name? I'm called Black Arrow. It's enough. <laughs> Lady Joanna. Lady Joanna. <laughs> Welcome, my dear. Welcome. <laughs> Why am I here? I am your guardian. Why should you not be here? A pretty flower. But the wrong color, I fear. My father thought not. And where is your father now? I don't know. But if I did, I would go to him. And nobody, not even you, would stop me. And like your flower, you are very beautiful. And like my flower, I have prickly thorns. So I ask you again, why have you brought me here? I would have thought that after ten years, you would have grown tired of looking at monastery walls. You put me there. Oh, this weeds. <laughs> Oats, fetch Hannah for me, would you please? You will soon be of age, Lady Joanna. Your own mistress. I wish to make amends for my neglect of you, but there are many things you must learn. The taste of good wine, for instance. The feeling of silk against your, your skin. The weight of jewels around your beautiful neck. I am content as I am. The choice is yours. Hara, show Lady Joanna to her chambers. Ensure that she has everything that she needs. This way, my lady. I wish to present that young lady to the old Warwick when he comes tomorrow. I have a favor to ask of him. A favor? Yes. I wish him to give away the bride. Whose bride? Mine. Go now. I will dress myself. But Sir Daniel said, said that I was to have everything that I want. And I want you to go.
Where's Sir Daniel? He's with us. Appleyard? Yes. Face to face. He must be very fast with the bow. He is. Another sped, another dead. Beware who gloats, the next for oats. And with good cause, the last is yours. Well, if we had any doubts before, we could have none now. I saw this black arrow kill Appleyard. He could have killed me, but he needed a messenger. Was he a tall man? Fair, soft-spoken. Do you know him? Yes, we do. He is a traitor to the House of York. Richard Tismis, you know. Twelve years ago, Appleyard Sykes, Lutz here, and I testified to his guilt. And what happened to him? He escaped. To France, I believe. His daughter, like you, was made my ward. Richard, I wish you to swear here and now that when you meet her, you will speak nothing of the Black Arrow or of anything I have spoken to you of. I swear. Richard. Joanne. How dare she wear a red rose in this house? Joanna is also a guest, and therefore entitled to wear what she will. A very becoming, my dear. Joanna, I have one small favor to ask of you. Please do not wear the red rose tomorrow when my Lord Warwick is also my guest. He may not be as understanding of you as I am. Thank you. May I present my two wards, Joanna mm. and Richard. Mm. Please. A comely wench, Brackley, ripe for marriage, I'd say. I agree. What takes you to York? The king's business. I am glad to be going. The court was getting tiresome. A little sport, a little relaxation, won't come amiss. <laughs> <laughs> that man could choose the next king. But not the rightful one. Like father, like daughter. Rebellious. What do you know of my father? Yorkist. He was a traitor. So it's said. To you and to your kind. But to others and to me. A hero. Oh! <laughs> 
kill her instinct, Brantley. Superb. If I'm born again, I would like to be born a hawk. Then please God, I am not born a hare. My killer instinct is only for one man. Only one? His name is the Black Arrow. He is terrorizing my lands. He has killed two of my most trusted retainers. He has stolen my cattle and my taxes. There goes your bird. I want him proclaimed an outlaw in the king's name. Taken, dead or alive. A splendid kill. You will so order. Oh, of course, of course. Put his name on parchment and it shall be done. Hear ye! Hear ye! Let it be known that from this day forth, the man known as Black Arrow is deemed outside the law and as such may be slain or taken captive in a king's name by the true servant of any man of justice by order of the Earl of Warwick. Sir Daniel will be coming to see you later, my lady. Have my riding clothes ready in the morning. No, my lady. Why not? Sir Daniel will not permit it. I am not a prisoner here and I will not be cooped up. Where is he? He's in the sanctum, my lady. But he's with the Earl. You must have other things on your mind than chess, Brackley. To make a move like that. Indeed I have, Your Grace. Oh. What? As you have already said, my ward is right for marriage. Have you found a husband for her? Yes, I have. Who? Me. You? You're more than three times her years. One is never too old for love, Your Grace. Love? <laughs> you may have a warm exterior, Brackley, but you've got a cold heart. There has to be something else. How old is she? She's 17. She has lands and fortune. Make her your wife before she comes of age, and all is yours. <laughs> I will need your permission. Of course. You have my blessing. I like you, Brackley. We are two of a kind, each with a good eye for the main chance. Come to York with me tomorrow. Make the arrangements for the wedding. And I, myself, will give the bride away. How can I ever thank you for, for this honor, Your Grace? By staying loyal to me, not to the king or his kin, but to me alone, should I ever need that loyalty. So be it. Check. Meet.
Here's to the one and only reason to get married. Money. Eh, hey, Brackley? Oh, yes, whatever you say, Your Grace. <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> you have another reason? Oh, well, I wouldn't go so far as to say it was a reason that she is, uh, as you say, coming. <laughs> By heavens! <laughs> There's life in the old dog yet. <laughs> Long may it be, sir. <laughs> By the way, Brackley, does the wench yet know of her good fortune? Well, now that you have given it your blessing, she will. Daniel. She's not dead, she's still in the castle. I can't keep the Earl waiting. Go downstairs, find out where she is. Quick! I need her in York. 
day after tomorrow, she will be heading north. I know. To Red Rose Country. Yes. Yes, to Red Rose Country. So take as many men as you need. Yes, perhaps that would be best. I do not want this known. At first light, then. Richard. She actually jumped the moat. Yes. What a bright tame she will be. You know what you have to do. It will be a pleasure. I shall only need the one. Scar, when it is over, find the girl, bring her to me at York. What an evil man this Black Arrow is. To kill somebody so young. Richard's lands and fortune will be yours. And the girls as well. You'll be the biggest landowner in the country. Bigger even than the Earl himself. Quite. So clever. So Daniel, so cunning. I wish I could match you. Think yourself fortunate that you cannot. Or I should have to dispose of you. Excuse me, has a young boy passed this way? Yes, he went across the bridge, over there. Thank you. Him would have to be him. I needed your horse. Well, I'll say this, you've got spirit, girl. I'm Lady Joanna, and I'm nobody's girl. Well, Lady Joanna, where were you thinking of going on my horse? To Lancaster. Where else? My people are there. You're going back to Sir Daniel. And unless we find my horse, it's going to be a long walk. Now move.
This horse is good. That's my horse. any choice. I have my orders and I'll obey them. You're nothing but Sir Daniel's lapdog. Get on the horse. Do you know why he wants me back? He wants to marry me. So that everything that he holds in trust for me becomes his by husband's rights. Marry you? Your precious Sir Daniel drove my father into exile, plotting against him with lies. That's enough. Sir Daniel's my guardian and yours. Listen. If he marries me and kills you, all we both own would be his.
I'll be back. I'll be back. away in the river. Murderer! You'll pay for this when I tell Sir Daniel. Do just that, my lady. Be right for York. <laughs> He's all right. It's just a flesh wound from a black Whoever did this can't be far away, Will. Take some men and find him. There are questions needing answers. said much on the way, Brackley. Nervous or something? No, Your Grace, I'm not nervous. Why should I be? Afraid the bride won't turn up, perhaps. Why do you say that? I had a sudden vision of you waiting at the altar for a bride who's changed her mind. That will not happen to me. <laughs> Relax, my dear Brackley. <laughs> I was only joking. <laughs> <laughs> Being followed. I felt it. Ride with the Lady Joanna to York. We'll deal with those who follow us. Come on. On foot! 
This one, we take. One of Sir Daniel's men. I thought we ought to ask him why he and his soldiers were wearing black cloaks and why they were carrying these. Two good questions. Which I can answer. He was sent with orders to kill me. And with one of those in me, blame you. How typical of Sir Daniel. You must have brought me here, for which I thank you. Otherwise, he'd have found me and finished the job. Cut him free. Give him a bow. Mine. Give him a sword. What have you done with the girl, Scar? Sent her to Sir Daniel where she belongs, boy.
Like I said, walk like a spirited, like a man. You asked him about a girl. What girl? Lady Joanna. I believe she's your daughter, sir. is honored, Your Grace. Well, well, so it should be. Is everything prepared? Yes, Sir Daniel. I want pomp and ceremony if I'm ready to remember. Of course, of course, Sir Daniel. Yes, Richard. When I came home from France, I tried to find her. Nobody knew where she was. Sir Daniel had her hidden away in a convent. Is she pretty? Yes. Are you fond of her? I, her father, will bring her back. Come, Will. You ride for York. The Earl of Warwick has proclaimed me outlaw. If I can persuade him to restore my rights as Joanna's father, I will stop this wedding. Sir Daniel thinks he's had you killed. If I can reach Warwick and tell him that, he will want proof of it. Then I will send for you. <laughs> Spring and winter. How sad. Oh, well. Tell Sir Daniel the wedding shall be at noon tomorrow. Yes, Your Grace. There is something else. She also brought news of Sir Richard's death. So Sir Daniel's fortune grows apace. Sir, after the wedding, and with Sir Richard's estate, Sir Daniel will be second only to you in land and riches. It had not escaped me. And he's a very ambitious man. Neither had that. If Sir Daniel could be denounced as a murderer, you might confiscate everything he has. The arrow that killed Richard may have been black, but it was fired by one of Sir Daniel's men. You have proof? 
think I could get. Why are you telling me all this? He said that you reward services handsomely. And Sir Daniel doesn't? No. Bring me proof that it's not just the word of one perjurer against another. And we'll see. Proof! Of course, Your Grace. Trust me. is to be at noon tomorrow, Sir Daniel. It didn't take you long to find that out. What else passed between you and the Earl? What else could there be? My allegiance is to you, Sir Daniel, and to no one else. On my honor. Your honor, sir, is buried as deep as Sykes and Appleyard. I warned you before, else you try and outmatch me, and you are a bigger fool than I thought you were. I'm with you, Sir Daniel. The red rose or the white. Trust me. He's a thief! 
Let the dog have him. Help! God! He may be a thief, but he's also a man. Some women are never more beautiful than when they are angry. Then I shall be lovely whenever you are near. <laughs> My dear Joanne, calm yourself. Reflect. I'm not an ogre. I think I will make you a very good husband. I shall be sensitive to your every wish. I have to be carried, screaming up the aisle. Anna, what shall we do with such a disobedient child? Beat her. Yes, I'm sure you would. Go now. And what shall I do with such a disobedient child? Same as her. Oh, no, my dear. Nothing so futile. I shall kill you. I shall so arrange it that people will say with tears in their eyes that love long for my lost ward, Richard. You chose suicide. A pity. You're evil. No, oh, my dear. It is just that I believe that the ends justify the means. You either marry me or I kill you. Since you are not yet of age, I will claim your inheritance either way. The choice is yours. Forgive me. Sir Daniel, the Black Arrow has been taken. Does the Earl know? Not yet. Then do not tell him. In a few days' time, there is going to be an execution. You may not know it, my dear, but it will be of grave consequence to you. For if you marry me, that execution will not take place.
Well, well, if I can be brought before the Earl of Warwick, I may yet be able to speak. Father. not marry Sir Daniel. if they drink all this. <laughs> I can't think of a better excuse for getting drunk than another man's wedding. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I can. My own. <laughs> <laughs> now, the smaller one, sir. First on, first off. Searching.
Your Grace. I know you. Richard, whatever your name is. Sir Daniel's ward. Yes, Your Grace. So Sir Daniel didn't manage to kill you after all. <laughs> you know? Yes. Oates keeps me informed. He thinks he will profit by it. Your Grace, grant me a favor, please. Oh, do get up. I hate granting favors. It either costs me money or friends. Usually both. What is it you want? Let me denounce Sir Daniel. Stop the wedding. And free the man they call the Black Arrow. He's the Lady Joanna's father. That's not one favor. That's three. Two. I will grant. The first, because it suits my purpose to be rid of Sir Daniel. And the last, because I hate executions. They make the people bloodthirsty. The wedding, however, will go on. You see, Richard, whatever your name is, Justice must not only be done, it must be seen to be done. why I have to do this. I've been told, yes. And you still let it happen? But of course.
We are gathered here in the eyes of God to witness the union of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks, and for those who now stand before you and draw near to God, do they declare that they have put their trust in the Lord and all thy works. You are to attend the wedding. No, you can't make me watch! Not I. By order of the Earl of Warwick. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Grant this man and this woman the strength from thy light, and in thee, O Lord, do they commit their salvation. Should there be any man here who knows of just reason why this man and this woman should not be joined in holy matrimony, let him speak now or forever hold his peace. No! of England. It is done. 